You know, uh, people really love to be scared. Uh, so this is a, a good chance to get a little bit scared right before the Halloween season. And um, it, might, it might make you a little more nervous about going out into the woods or being alone in the dark, but in a fun way. Uh, whether you are a devoted believer in the paranormal or maybe you're just a fan of the X-Files, there are scary stories and frightening facts to be shared all over Milwaukee, and it's all at the Milwaukee Paranormal Conference this weekend. Yeah, among the topics of discussion, the search for Wisconsin Sasquatch. Oh Photojournalist Susan, Suzanne Barthel followed Sanjay Singhal and Jay Bachochin into Wisconsin's woods as they looked for Bigfoot. We're in the woods. Yes, we're in southeastern Wisconsin, in the woods. In the Kettle Moraine State Forest, south unit. Yeah. Hmm, that's a very curious configuration, a branch positioned perfectly horizontally like that. We are looking for Bigfoot. In an area of high Bigfoot activity, some people have interpreted it as a directional marker. So we could offer an interpretation that this is a warning directional marker saying the car park is that way humans are there people have been looking for bigfoot for i mean that that's documented over 60 years you know going out doing this maybe one day it'll happen i'm hearing movement up there that that contact will be made maybe i can learn uh what what they are i know it exists i i, I feel it i know it i've seen it there was something. There was something out there. There was something when we came in the woods. Yep. Ooh, Jay, do you see what I see? And I want to know more. And I think that's why I'm out here personally is I'm trying to make contact. This is what we call a twisted branch. It's very common in Bigfoot branch assemblies. This is considered by a lot of people to be a directional marker. So if this was actually done by a Bigfoot, we could suggest that this was directing us to a shelter or a nest. I go out and I really enjoy uh, being out in the woods and the company that I come out with. I've personally had experiences w which I cannot explain, and the only explanation is that it was something moving from the physical into the spiritual or vice versa. Yeah, that's why you see the one or one print or two prints and nothing. This is enhanced so that I could see if there's any disturbances on the sides. There's no tree to climb. Where did they go? Yeah. This was out in this area. So a human track would actually have snow thrust out. A, a, dr a drag line. A drag line. And that's what I was looking These for. These have no drag lines. Bigfoot step in with their heels and lift off with their toes. Did you hear that? Yeah. Was that hikers? No. Shh. Well, let's be quiet for a second. For me, it's just fascinating. I will tell you, I've had some pretty frightening moments. I've had trees falling right behind me, rocks thrown at us. You know, rocks thrown at Ooh. us. Yeah. Um, rock clacks. I had a cinder block thrown at me once. Yeah. yeah. But I've also had some amazing moments. I had an experience in the North Kettle where I felt something was watching me, and I turned around and took several photographs. And if you look at the photographs, there's two faces s staring out of the brush. And if you'd like to see a picture of a Bigfoot, that's my newest book that just came out. Do you see it? I, I feel like I, come, I need to come out here. And when I'm not out here, I feel like I'm missing a party. Do you know that feeling yeah. where you're working and they're having a party and you're like, I should be there? Mm -hmm. I get that feeling, that draw to be up here. You have a good time doing it. You're coming out here and you want to you wanna find Bigfoot, you're not going to find it. I don't believe I, but he'll find you. He'll find you. Jay and Sanjay usually search for Sasquatch at night so they don't have all the interfering sounds of hikers and bikers. And they tell us that they stay out in the woods until they feel they've been told to leave.